Hey everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show off how to use facial capture in Inzoi. This is just the demo version, not the full game. So I will try to make a updated version of this once I have access to the full game. But for now, I wanted to show it off in its current state. So I am demonstrating it right now. Hopefully my face is in frame enough that it is working. But now I will show y'all how to set it up from start to finish. At least how I know how to do it. So I hope y'all enjoy and find this helpful. Okay, so starting from the main menu, if you go to new game and then you will put in your Zoe's name and then press OK and make sure it looks right. And then assuming it looks right, click create a Zoe. And then you can make them look however you would like. I'm just gonna go to Zoe presets. And then I will click apply just so we can get back here fairly quickly. And then at least the way I know how to do it is by going up to the top right corner and clicking upload to canvas and then when you get to this screen you'll click on the icon to go to the photo mode and then down in the bottom right corner of the camera view there is a button that says facial capture so if you click on that, then it will tell you, basically you need to make sure that your phone and your computer are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So then click next. And then it will give you a QR code that you basically scan with your phone's camera that will take you to the app that you need to download. And I've already downloaded it, but if you haven't, you'll just click to download. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And then press next. And then it'll tell you which one to select. And basically, you will select the option that says Live Link AR Kit. And then click continue. And then you'll click next and make sure you allow it to access your camera and your microphone if you haven't already. And then you'll click on settings and then click next. And then under streaming, you'll click on or tap on live link. And then you will tap on the add target button which I have already done so mine is there but I will go ahead and tap on it so they all can see what that looks like and then click next on your computer and then you will need to take your computer's IP address and put that into the field that says IP address which if you don't know it which I didn't <laughs> there is a read button, which I'm not going to click it, but there is a read button that if you click on this, it will show your computer's IP address so that you know what to type in. So then you would just type that in and you can leave the port alone. You don't have to mess with that. And then you will click add, which like I said, I already added mine but you would normally click the add button in the top right on your phone and then click next on your computer. And then it's basically just saying to go through and adjust the settings. 
on the app. And if done correctly, then it will show your connected device. If it doesn't, check your Wi-Fi network on your phone and your computer and make sure that those match up. That was the issue that I had. I didn't realize that they were not on the same network. So mine was saying that there were no connected devices. But as soon as I went and fixed that and then came back onto the screen, it showed my device. I can't remember if I had to go to the previous screen and back to this. I don't think I did, but if, if it's still not showing up, try doing that because that is probably your issue. So then click connect and then it should tell you that the live link sync was successful. And then you click OK and then Make sure you click done on settings and then you should be good to go. I hope this is helpful. I know the demo is about to close, but at least you will have a reference for when they provide access again, either through another demo or through the full game release. If the process changes at all the next time we have access to Inzoi, I will make another video demonstrating how to do that with the updated process, but I wanted to at least show it to y'all in its current form so that y'all can see what it is like. The live link app that you use for the facial capture is only available on iPhone, unfortunately. So I wanted to make sure I showed it to y'all if you don't have an iPhone or just haven't had a chance to mess around with the facial capture or couldn't figure out how to do it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!